Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, it's very funny. Can we leave the beard alone now? All I'm saying is you go on holiday and you come back looking like the leader of a cult. You look like a homeless BG. You look like Tom Jones's ball bag. I think it makes me look studious and dangerous, like a maverick surgeon. Did you know that they use Nintendo Wii's to train surgeons? Jesus, Dom, could you stop with, they're not going to send you a free Wii. Seriously, it's like the 20th time you've mentioned it, we'll get done by the OFT. That's not advertising. I don't even own a Nintendo Wii. I'd like to. <laughs> Lindsay, I've got Tim on line one. He's got another pub quiz question. Bring it on. Yes, listeners, for those who have just joined us, we are in preparation of tomorrow night's now legendary John Peel pub quiz, challenging you to beat Team Captain Cox with your pub quiz question. Three years undefeated. You're not going anywhere, are you, John? No, that's right, Dom. I'm going to stay here with you because I think you're brilliant. Thanks, John. I also think you're really good looking too. OK, stop flirting with John Peel. Tim, what's your question? Which Beatles song did the Lost Dogs cover on their album Little Red Riding Hood? Ooh. I'm a loser. That's right. You are a loser. And you're going to lose tomorrow when the big dog takes the prize. Ah, Westwood. So what's it like being on a real radio station for once? Yeah, it's an interesting sensation talking on the radio when you know no one's listening. It kind of takes <laughs> off the pressure. So are you uh, phoning to concede defeat now? John Peel's coming back to his rightful home tomorrow night. Oh, yeah? What do you think about that, John? Don't send me home with Westwood. He's a bellend. Whatever, boy. Oh, by the way, good luck in the bonus round. Bonus round? What, what bonus round? Westwood? Westwood? Uh, Tim Westwood there. Oh, uh, Lindsay, I've got 1978 on the phone. Apparently one of the beards is missing. Look, well, yeah, I love a cider and gin. Gin, gin, gin. Jesus, Jane, have a night off, will you? Jane will have a vodka tonic. Whoa, where have you been? I've been trying to get to the bottom of this bonus round thing. I will not have my John Peel taken away from me. I want us to be together forever, Dom. I love you. I love you too, John. Seriously, Dom, you can't do the voice thing when you don't have him with you. Why not? It's just playing creepy. Right. Daddy's got to see a man about a big dog. Yeah, great. Love the show. Yeah, I'm a producer. TV. And this is great. I'm just going to call you. Oh. No, no, seriously, I'm not lying. Look, you're, you're in my pad. It's weird, isn't it? I, I'm doing this thing with Sarah Jackson for Absolute Radio. It's called The Hole. Shall I say no? Um, yeah, he's lovely. No, he's not. He's a twat. Oh. <laughs> he just dropped me in it. Uh, we're meant to be filming this pilot tomorrow. And then now we can't do it. OK, well, good luck with that. So, do you want to do it? What? <laughs> Wait, see, I made you laugh. Yes, you're very charming. Well done. You're very beautiful. Oh, please. Well, seriously, you've got this kind of sexy, sophisticated confidence about you. It's what I love about all the women. Excuse me? Yo! Yeah. Look at this face. What do you see? Hair. Nice. Mostly hair. Wrong. You see the new face of music television. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I just got off with my own pilot, so I'll be shooting that tomorrow. Oh, is this the hole? Yeah, why, have you heard about it? Yeah, 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 they asked me about that. But, you know, I've got this thing going on with MTV Bays. Sick, sick. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they got me locked in, so... But that's book, man, that's book. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. How old do I look to you? 50. That guy just called me an older woman. You are an older woman. No, I mean, compared to Daniel Radcliffe over there. But that's your thing! What? You love fresh meat! Remember when we bumped into McFly at the Brits? We thought we were going to have to restrain you. Skin! So you like to drink from the fountain of youth, do you? So how low'd you go? Aid, you're 17. Are you even allowed to be in here? Well, Daisy let me in the fire exit. But you got your look down, yeah? What? This ain't Radio LC, you know what I'm saying? This is TV, baby. Yeah. It's a visual medium. you got to make a statement. Or are you going to stick with the whole hobo chic thing? Seriously, has no one seen a beard before? I'm just saying, find your look. Well, thank you, Trini, but I think I can dress myself. You look like you're wearing a burqa made of pubes. Hello, Bacon. Dom? What are you doing here? What's a bonus round? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you listen to my show? No. Well, you should listen tomorrow. Because if you don't tell me what I need to know, I'll be telling our listeners what really happened between you and Terence Trent Derby at the Isle of Wight Festival. It's hip-hop, all right? 
It's hip hop. Please don't tell anyone that story. It's hip hop. Morning, Jane. Everything all right? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, laugh it up, Jane. Laugh it up. It's my look, OK? It's fresh. I'm making a statement. People used to laugh at Russell Brand, but look around you, Jane. Everybody's dressing like a scarecrow at a funeral now, so... Hip-hop. Fucking hip-hop. I'm screwed. Tim West was the gatekeeper of British hip-hop. For fuck... Whoa! <laughs> what have you come as? It's my look. I think you'll find that's Burt Reynolds' look. It's like you've got a little tiny road sweeper coming out your nose. <laughs> you look like you just drank a pint of shit. <laughs> Enough! OK, hey, Neil, is that the Thai bride you ordered? Well, I'm half of your beard's fallen off. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, Jane, Jane, you fancy a little something this morning? Huh? Tea, coffee? Ooh, coffee. Do you like it black? No, as usual, milk and tea. I'm telling you, age is flirting with me. Oh, Jane, go for a man your own age, will you? <laughs> if you can find any still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I think Patrick Moore is single. <laughs> Seriously, did you not see him? He's getting you a coffee, Jane. He's a runner. That's his job. Hello? Right. There's a package from Nintendo at reception. I don't believe it. I talked about a Wii and I got one. God, I'm literally going to be spending the whole of tonight's show talking about Kelly Brook. Oh, oh, yes. Very fun. Oh! <laughs> oh, the height of humour. Hey, man. Nice. Oh, don't start. No, I'm serious. That is dope. Really? You don't, you don't think it's a bit... Mm -mm, nah. You're like rock and roll pyro up in this bitch. Shit. So the pilot, yeah? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you going to wear? I've got a whole ensemble worked out. Yeah, it's really going to make a statement, I think. It's book. Oh, Topher, you're a man who knows about his hip-hop. What are you doing this evening? Dizzy, you're young, right? I need you to do me a favour. Nice. Tash. Oh, thanks. It's... My new look. Ball cancer. Sorry? You raise money for ball cancer. They do that thing where they get celebrities to grow moustache. Well, no, you're not a celebrity. But... No, it's not for ball cancer. No, it's actually for this new TV show. TV? Because you're going to be a TV star. <gasps> you're going to get all famous and start hanging out with celebrities and have your picture in the metro, falling at nightclubs and getting star fucked by loads of beautiful women. Until one day you pick a wrong one and then. She'll accuse you of sexual assault and, you know, you're found innocent. None of your mates will look at you the same way again and you'll lose your job and you'll have to get work at an estate agent's, but you'll telephone your property developer because you're just so embarrassed that you work at Foxton's. Yeah, but it's the telly, isn't it? <laughs> but I need you to do something for me, OK? I need you to go out and get me an outfit, all right, for the show, something that's cool with an edge. Something that says, hi, I'm Lindsay Carroll, and that's right, I'm on the fucking television now, OK? Something that goes with this. If not for me, do it for John. Dude, I'd love to help, but I'm supposed to be doing this make-a-wish thing tonight, innit? Make-a-wish? I'll make a wish. I wish that you do the quiz with me tonight. Dude, these kids are terminally ill. Exactly! There's nothing you can do for them, but me and John... Yeah, look, no, sorry, bro. What? Where am I gonna find someone who knows about hip-hop by tonight? Oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> what's going on, blood? Ah, yeah, I've been good. Wait, don't you make my boy swear, right? Hello, mate. You hit me once, I hit you. Would I mind putting my junk in that trunk? <laughs> huh? Lindsay, I know when a man is coming on to me, I have had some experience of men. <laughs> That's like saying Don French has some experience of cake. He said he wanted to put his junk in my trunk. Maybe he does actually just want to store something in your car. <laughs> Hey guys, this way he's going to appear on a show tonight. Okay, great. This doesn't happen to have anything to do with your pub quiz, does it? How dare you? <laughs> okay, so time's nearly up. We are going to finish with a track from my main man, Sway, our special guest who we hijacked from Topher Kiefer today. Sway, the secret weapon that will lead to Westwood's imminent defeat. And oh, just a reminder, folks, we are not live, so please don't text or call because when you are listening to this, we shall be competing at a pub quiz. Winning a pub quiz, eh, hey, Sway? Damn right, Westwood, here we come. Sway will then be fully operational. Yeah, yeah, Sway, Sway. Shout outs to Dom and Lindsay. Listen carefully. 
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm back by pop a little man, pop a little man, I'm here relaxing. I'm here relaxing. In fact, the fact is, is my competition ain't up to scratch. They're going nowhere like a cold de sac, cold de sac. My competition ain't Eight, this has got to stop. I am very flattered, but I'm old enough to be a older sister. Mate, if my sister was as fit as you, I would have been banged up a long time ago. Trust me. I nearly forgot to say. By the way, I'm sweating. I'm so on top this year. I'm so on top this year. I'll double double any any figure that you got. I'll double double any any figure that you got. Yeah. I see rappers biting rappers trying to bite my song. If you like my songs so much, why don't you just buy my? If you like biting so much, why don't you just bite your tongue? It's not on. It's not on. I shouldn't have to say it twice. I shouldn't have to say it twice. But I'm gonna say it twice. But I'm gonna say it twice. So that they know I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm on top. I'm on top. I run this thing. I shouldn't have to say it twice. I should have to say it twice, but I'm gonna say it twice. But I'm gonna say it twice, so that they know you're the boss. Hey, how did you get them to do the quiz? No, you can sway the suit. What's the deal with that thing? That looks like an S and M Santa costume. That team is a piece of comedy history. Eddie Murphy, delirious. Women be throwing pussy at me on the street like frisbees. <laughs> that is the actual suit that he wore. Well, that's not. That's a replica, which is worn by a lookalike. But still, that is an actual replica. You can't give them the suit, man. That's your prized possession. No, Lindsay. This is my prized possession. <laughs> <laughs> so that they know I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm on top. I'm on top. I run this thing. I should just have to say it twice. I should just have to say it twice. But I'm gonna say it twice. But I'm gonna say it twice. So that they know you're the boss. You're the boss. You're the king. You're the king. You're on top. You're on top. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Yeah. I think I'm being sexually harassed by a child. Do you think he's like a reverse paedophile? It's not funny, Daisy. It's quite funny. Look, when I was a kid, we used to get loads of trouble from these trick-or-treaters around my area. One year, my dad decided to answer the door just wearing a vest. No trousers, no pants. Never bothered us again. Are you telling me I should take off my pants? I'm saying scare him off. You come on to him. You're not coming on to AIDS. He's like 10 years old. Oh. Wow, you look amazing. Yeah? Really? You don't, you don't think this is too much? No! I mean, you wanted to make a statement. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'm not quite sure what the statement is. Oh, ho, ho. guys, there's some nice friends in it. Yeah? Yeah! The tea's off the hook, man. Oh, cool. Do it. Thanks, Daze. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Let me show you this stuff. All right, guys, I'll see you later. I'm just off to become a TV star. I'll send you a postcard from Famous Land. Out. I love that geezer, but he yeah. is a tool. Cool. Dom, those things have safety straps for a reason, yeah? You are such a gay, Neil. Hey, don't shoot the safety messenger. Happy? Release their eponymous debut album. Smarty! Hey, Nippies, mate. Hey, at least you get to keep your weird Eddie Murphy suit. No! Lindsay! Hi! Hey. Oh, great to have you here. I'm so glad you could do this. Great tash, I like tash shoes. How are you doing? You doing well? So we're going to kick off as soon as possible. You've done all to keep before. Right. Oh, Sarah here in makeup. Hey. Sarah! <laughs> this is Lindsay. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Lindsay. Hey. So, uh, first TV gig, hey? First of many, methinks. Uh, very different to radio, you know. Oh, I think I'll be all right. You're at the pub Chris tonight? Certainly am. Um... Gonna kick your ass. Yeah, let's see, champion. See you on the floor, yeah? Bye. Is she lovely? Uh, are you eating food, coffee? Uh, coffee? Damn! Coffee. coffee for Lindsay! Studio serve through here. Cool. Audience or audience. Why don't you come through? Come through and meet them. Everybody, uh, this is Sarah's co presenter. You're known from Skin FM. It's Lindsay Carroll. Hi! 
They're very young. Yeah, can I take your coat? You know what? I'm going to leave it on. It's, it's kind of my look. You have got to be kidding me. What? Dominic. Jane, look at him. This man knows his hip hop. He's a hip hop hobo. Just because a man has a hood and a ghetto blaster doesn't make him a hip hop expert. That's racist. What? How is that racist? Having a wide based knowledge of hip hop is a positive thing. It's a compliment. It's good racism. Good racism. Yeah. Not saying he's probably got a large penis and an extraordinarily good sense of rhythm. Good racism. Okay, you don't know this guy. You got him off the street. He could be a criminal. What? Because he's black. That Jane is bad racism. You're a bad racist. This is ridiculous. I am black by your logic. I should be a hip hop expert. Why didn't you ask me? Because you're a racist. Three, two, one, and cue Lindsay. And after the break, we're going to be joined by Hot Ship, who are. Shit. Sorry, sorry. I couldn't read the. I said ship, I said ship. Okay, and cut. Good one. <laughs> yeah, you try doing this. What? Reading? <laughs> Okay, and go again. Yep. Don't fuck it up this time, Magnum. <laughs> what are you, ten? How do you even know who Magnum is? And action. And after the break, we're going to be joined by Hot Chip, and they're going to be telling us all about their new album. Isn't that right, Sarah? It certainly is, Lindsay. And we'll also be hearing from the kooks about how they're gearing up for this year's festival season. Join us after the break for us and Hot Chip. 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 Shit. Sorry, I said, I said, I said ship. Let's take a break. Ten minutes, everyone. <laughs> oh, putting out some questions here. <gasps> Motherfuck! <gasps> no! What's going on? The hip hop hobo stole my suit. It's over. My expert's gone. I'm gonna lose, and they're gonna take my John Peel away from me. Okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm gonna need your help, Neil. So, Paddy, they're paying you potatoes for this. What happened in your arm? Did your dad break it when he threw you out of the house? My dad died in Iraq. Oh, sorry. Not really, you dick. He's a plumber. You... Oh. Why don't you just take your coat off? Look, give me your T-shirt. <laughs> what? I'll give you ten quid for your T-shirt. Why do you want it? That's a cock. Shh, I know. I know it is. <sighs> Fifty pound. Fifty? You... It's Primark. Are we only worth around four quid? Four quid to me, 50 to you. Oh, pull it over your head. Just give me the money. I will give you the money after. Okay, Shh. which producer sings the chorus on Naz's The World Is Yours? Oh, that's a toughie, isn't it, Timothy? Yeah, I'm built for this. Yeah. I'm built for this. Did you get that, Neil? Did you get that? Pete Rock. Over. Hey, Jane, can I buy you a drink? Age, you're underage. Sorry, I've got someone who'll buy it for me. Oh! You need to scare him off. You need to take your pants off. No! Thank you. I'm Jane, Lindsay's producer. Oh, right. He told me about what happened earlier today and I just wanted to say it was all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, it did look a bit odd. Yeah, well, he is a bit odd. <laughs> That's why I should stick to radio. Yeah. I'll see you back in there. Okay. Yeah, I got your drink. I didn't spike it. Mm. Or did I? Yeah, yeah, where are you going, baby? It's where the party's at. Why eat sheep when you can have lamb? Okay, fine, let's do this. What? Huh? What are you Come doing? on what are you then. What about doing? You do say what? you want it, do it. Look, look, maybe I am a bit young, you know? Don't be pathetic. I thought you were a man. Give it to me. Put your junk in my trunk. My junk cake, ready, you. I want your junk. <laughs> Okay, shh, shh, shh. we come to the winners. Oh, 
Oh, it's good, baby. That's us, that's us. In first place, we have a tie. Oh! Westwood's Big Dogs. And Cox is Cox. Yeah, okay, shoot. Some baby, you and me. Interesting bonus round, eh, Timothy? Who told you? I don't reveal my sauces. Was it Bacon Boy? Yeah. I'll have your pork chops later. Oh, so that swine squealed. Here is your tiebreaker. Here we go. Bells at the ready. Oi. I'm here for my suit. Where's my suit? Uh, what's the title of the fourth Public Enemy album? Oh, oh, oh belt oh, first, belt oh, first. Let's hear it, Dom. What what is the title of the fourth Public Enemy album? Mm. No, no, seriously, the suit was stolen by a hobo. Listen, my man broke my nose. Now where's my suit? Um, yes, the answer Go to that down. question Go is. Down. I'm gonna have to hurry. Okay. Um, um, yeah, the answer is. Come on, right. Come on son, you little indie kid. Is it? Please don't hurt me. Bye, John. Bye, Dom. You really let me down, you fucking prick. Fuck. Oi! Mother... Oi! <laughs> Strip him! Take off his trousers! Rip that trap, Dom! Rip him! God! <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> people often ask me, Justin, do you think your chiseled good looks and buff Adonis-like physique helps you to make it to the top of the entertainment tree? And I tell them, no. That's all on the Justin Lee Collins Show, tomorrow at 10 on ITV2.